this is a moment I decided I'd come on here, show a little thing or two about how we sand this bear. It is early in the morning as I record, so it's going to be a while, and in a little while I'm going to have to get ready and go to work, but I just wanted to give you all a little demonstration here. We start out with kind of a heavier grit. That's how we start out on the mama bear. And I wanted to kind of let you all um, see me sand it. Kind of like I did with the baby bear. And this is how we go about it. We're going to kind of make it so it comes out a little smoother and flatter as it needs to be. And and make it so it makes a little better sense of us. So we're going to try to work along this piece, make it so it gives its work to us and I say that a little work is worth looking into just to make things brighter and shinier and smoother so apparently this looks like it's not taking too long or going to take too long but we're going to go about it make a little sense of it and so I say we work the time into it and by the time we get done we're going to get all these little lines and marks out of it some of this stuff it might have been done on the saw or with the knife but the little marks and times that come out of the work we're going to work it along we're going to sand this underside too try to get all the little pre freaking pencil lines out of that and because you know we had to put pencil lines underneath it to kind of line up the legs and um, everything else with the underside so the work shall come and go the way it does we kind of got the time to do the things the way we're doing them and so this is how we see it along the lines of what we do. We're going to take care of this other mama bear too. We're going to sand them both in the same video. We kind of carved them together when we did those videos and so sanding is going to go the same way make it so it comes out like as good as it needs to be and see this little bit of work shall brighten its way to us and there's so much to share so much to say as you come along there are probably a few more craters I can't wait to make, but I'd say that this is the work, the way it goes, the way it needs to be, the way it shows itself to us, I say, and so with all this work that we're doing here, we kind of make it so the ears shall be a good way to be reminding us 
of how things were supposed to look or turn out. There's a set of a Mama Bear and Cubs that purchased from the Honeysuckle Gallery down in Berea. You know, it's a good set. I paid $20 for it, but, you know, it's was a set that was kind of basic. It was good, and I liked it so much I purchased it. It probably wouldn't be to most people the best set they've ever seen, but there's a lot I've heard about how it is when you sell stuff in Berea. I've heard that they'll, like, buy it from you for five and sell it for 20 because they like sell it for three times or four times what they bought it from you for and so there's just been a lot of thinking to do as far as that stuff goes finally got the heavy grit on the bear we're going to go down to a little bit of a smaller grit try to do a little bit less of a work here. I think we'll go down to a 120 grit now and do the whole thing over again. And turns out with this one, even with the heavier grit, I forgot to do the underside. So we're going to go back and take care of that here. And good thing we're taking care of this because it's going to come out the right way it needs to just be. And so we got the little 120 grit coming along to smooth up the bear. Make it so it shall be a sentiment to all. And I'm sure that somebody's going to love to see a mother bear with her cubs. So it's all going to be good at its own price for what people are going to pay. Because it's going to be the, probably the best thing they ever saw. We can only hope for that. And I say that this little work shall make its fine way to us. And we may even see a little work come through to us when we get done. Finally took the 120 and now we're going to come down to a 240 grit. And make it so it's going to be smooth all over and I'd say that given the time it is I don't know how much I'm going to have time to do this morning before work but eventually we're going to take it over to the wood burner and kind of put the that part of the work into it so we're going to have a lot to see as it comes along and finally we got a little work in here to do and finally to make it seem like it's making its way to us and oh the brighter days oh the brighter mornings oh the work that comes in it and I say this is going to be a better piece when it's done. It'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and pencil in the lines for the eyes. We got a little work in here to do a little thing here and make it so the eyes are right, the eyes line up and so come on, come on, come on, and so with a little work here, you got to put the eyes in just like this, and so with a little work in time, this is how it's going to go, might kind of look back on one of the babies, to see how I did their noses and 
so I see I kind of got the little line up here like we did the lines for the eyes and the one for the nose now and so we're making the line right here kind of do a little line down the center of the face and put two little curves down here to make the little mouth of the bear and so with a little work in life I say that this is all just going to be for the good and for the better and see how it comes out and given this chance I think we're going to kind of take care of something that we wouldn't typically till the end believe I'm going to go ahead and put on the little tag to make it so it comes true and so and just on the little tag is my little I choose charity over bitterness slogan and time to kind of cut away the edges make it so it shall be assigned to us and we're gonna wipe off the dust here put it right here in the center and have another little one to go and put it in about the same place and for the work it does it's all gonna be a little good and better to us and oh the work is fine oh the work is good oh the work is so neat I say try to get rid of all the extra dust what's going to be debatable is when we're going to go over to the wood burner but I think I will stop the video right here and take care of that later but I'd say that when I do come back on that's what the next part of the video is going to be well this just became a little moment to uh, come into the shop and I will say that in between the parts of this video there were long hours in between it's actually the evening of the same day that it was the morning that I recorded the last part of the video and just had some resting up to do after work and kind of needed to kind of get some things together so that I finally could take care of this but you know getting around to the mama bear there's a little thing we're going to do now and that is we're going to take the dremel bit and put the eyes in I wanted to say that as for how we got the mama bear there, I forgot to turn this burner off the last time I had it on. Good thing I had it turned all the way down with the heat, but we're going to kind of move it up a little bit. And I'll tell you all one thing I did recently was I went online to purchase some more pins, some more pins for the burner to put in, kind of take care of those little matters and we got this one taken care of for sure and I'd say since the mama bear has a bigger nose you can even use the skew tip pin to make it just like that
So that is how we kind of got the part of the mouth done to the face. And there's a step we're going to go over. Take this little writing tip pen and put in the little circles to make the remainder of the mouth. And we've gotten all the work done so far that needs to be put into her. So I'd say there's probably another grit we're going to take. We're going to take the 220 grit a little coarser than the 240 grit. And this is a moment when we're going to kind of take care of what's up in front of the face now and we kind of got rid of all those lines there, and we'll say that that was a little bit of a work done there. We're going to take it to the same level with this other one, too, and kind of try to get rid of the worst of the dark lines, kind of get rid of that little mess, and say... That was all taken care of. Turn the heat down a little bit and re-go over those lines. We got the little baby taken care of and the mama too. So I say for all the work we got, we're making it a little more mightier than you know a work that shows itself a little ways to us and so we kind of got all the things taken care of that we need taken care of and one of these bears was just dropped and we got to see where she went all under the thing. But I say for sure that it's a good thing we got a paper towel over here because there's a few other steps we need to take here. We're going to put the initials and the year right below the two front feet here. And we got it just like that. We're going to do the same with this little mama bear here. Put in the initials. Put in the year. Kind of try to get this all down to where it's a little better taken care of than we already know. And oh, I say little things in life. All the things we take care of, you know. JDP in 2022 right here. We're going to put a little the word tuplio down below the back feet just to indicate that it is made from tuplio wood. And so we got the word in there. Got it just like that. We got a little, another little message to make here. Put the same little word down below this one as well. Take it so it has its words said right into it. 
and I say this little teddy bear is going to be fine and as I mentioned about the paper towel in the other part of the video I showed you where I had put on the super glue to I mean put on the labels but now we take the super glue and we laminate the label so that that way it stays on forever and so that it doesn't come off in the oil when it soaks and even if you're going to give it a superficial coat as well that's kind of another one of those things where you sort of do that so that the oil doesn't take it off or anything this is how a little work does and we got the towel stuck there but we got to remove that we got little things here taken care of and we're settling that one for sure we're gonna put another little coat on here try to take the same little towel and rub it around to try to get all it little glazed over to make a little thing like it does and oh the shining light oh the bright light of day we know a lot of work shall come along to this make it so it's better make it so it's fit oh little lights can shine in our lives and make us all see the things we need to see in our days oh i tell y'all something people there's those that, who have been in my lives who I miss a lot. And little times shall come when business shall all get better. And, you know, we kind of make it so many more ways with our lives. Taking things to a better extreme with us. And seeing how better the deals can get in life. Because, you know, I'm starting to get to the point where it's like, Sooner or later, I can be offering little deals on my work. There's some things in life that may not sell as well. People may want to see them or hold them in their hand to know how they look at first before they consider ordering it or buying it. And they might like it for what it is. If it really appeals to them, if it really strikes their fancy. So... It's kind of like little work, the way it comes and goes. And you all have seen on a lot of videos how I kind of take these things after the little label goes on and soak them in the linseed oil. So <laughs> that is going to be one of the next steps we're going to take here to make it kind of so it will look just right and fine and dandy and I'd say there's so much I'm learning about my work just from taking it out to shows and hearing the critics and hearing what they say so oh a lot to go on in these days you know taking it to the extremes where it needs to be and as for this you know this glue it may cause little fumes but we can manage the fumes very well. Probably going to go looking through my scraps tonight. See if there's anything else I'd like to try to carve from. And try as best as I can to really, really, really keep this business going. To the best it can be. Everywhere we know. Everywhere we go around people. Try to make sure that people like what they see and like what is best so I'd say for this moment I was happy to come on here show you all the steps as to how I do things I'm going to let these dry and then the mothers and the babies of all the bears are going to be soaked and then we're going to take them out in a few days and they'll be all better and good thank you for watching goodbye